What's up everybody, welcome back to the Detail Garage. Today we have something special for all of you guys who like to go off road. Our buddy Carlos brought in his Silverado and as you can see it's completely thrashed with mud, dirt and anything else I can collect on the surface. So today I have Hector and myself, we're going to be detailing this thing because we want to get it done as quickly as possible and most efficiently. So to start off we're going to get uh, jumping on the wheels. As you can see they picked up a lot of dirt, clay and anything else that can be basically thrown up into that wheel well. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by rinsing it down and then using some soft bristle brushes with our Diablo wheel gel, we'll safely remove any abrasive particles of dirt or brake dust or anything else that can actually harm the finish. So let's get started. Hector, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. So Hector, like I said, we have each other here because we're going to do this as efficiently as possible. So now that this one's rinsed down, I can actually start the scrubbing process. Hector's going to move to the back of the wheel and then we can get this done as fast as possible. So to begin on this wheel, I'm going to grab an easy reach wheel brush. This is a very soft bristle brush that safely removes any kind of contaminants or anything else on the wheel. And it reaches all the way to the back of the barrel because as you can see, this truck has a deep dish and also these intricate spokes here. So we want to be able to get all of the contamination or anything else that's collected on the wheel. This way we have a perfectly fresh and detailed clean rim. So, as you can see, the Easy Reach wheel brush did an amazing job of going around the entire wheel. Also, it's got this nice soft bristle brush, so it's not going to be scratching the surface of any painted chrome or OEM wheels, but simply it's pulling off any kind of road debris, brake dust, or anything else that collects on the wheel. So now we're going to move on to a finer brush. This is the green flag tip brush, and it has these really fine bristles on the end here, and this is going to get the face and the barrel simply working our way around. And as you saw, again, with the... Uh, Easy reach wheel brush, we start at the top and then worked our way around. This is going to prevent dirt from getting to areas we've already cleaned, but simply it takes off anything else that's collected on the surface. As we, you guys can see, we're outside today. It's a little noisy, but we're gonna work through it. Hector's working back here on the wheel and he's using two new brushes. These are our Red Rocket bristle brushes and there's two different sizes. So he has a larger brush for getting into the obviously larger areas and then a smaller brush to get the intricate, more tight crevices and in between like the caliper and the rotor or in the caliper and the barrel. Now to finish up this wheel, I'm going to clean the tire using some sticky citrus wheel gel. And I'm gonna spray it direct on the surface and this is going to help cut through old dressings, road debris, tar, grease, or anything else that gives you that brown look. Simply spray it on the surface and then I'm going to use a stiffer bristle brush this blue stiffy bristle brush is going to, one, help agitate, but it's also going to do the real heavy duty scrubbing. Get this little bit of wet on there just for some softness to it. Now we'll just go around the wheel. And again, as always, we're starting at the top because the dirt will travel down and it's just making more work for yourself if you start at the side or the bottom or anything else other than the top. We're going to finish this up, get the other two wheels done, and then we can jump on the body. So Hector and I just finished cleaning all four wheels on this truck and they look a lot better obviously, but now we need to move on to the body. So things are going to get really messy in this uh, wash bay. It's got a lot of dirt and mud on there, so what we're going to do is something a little different today. We're going to start by rinsing it down, we're going to foam it and then rinse that foam off, foam it again and then we can actually do our scrubbing process. Because as we're washing the wheels we can see that this stuff is really caked on and it's actually very abrasive, so we definitely don't want to scratch this pristine red finish. So what we're going to do is take extra precaution, make sure this car looks its best. And also to help us cut through all that mud and debris today, we've got ourselves Tough Mudder. This is a soap designed specifically for cases such as this where you've got a lot of mud, uh, rocks, clay, everything else that's going to be really abrasive. So we're going to create a ton of suds using this along with our Big Mouth Foam Cannon. Now this is an awesome foam cannon because one, it has a larger neck so you don't make a mess as you're filling it up, but also it has a directional fan so you can either foam vertically or horizontally. This way you can cover any size or shape vehicle, getting the most foam on there which acts as lubrication and the cleaning power. And again, this is going to prevent any kind of swirls or paint damage. So without further ado, let's get started because we have a lot of work to do today. And uh, yeah, let's just get to it.
rinsing it not once but twice and there was still mud on there. So now we're gonna have to get down and dirty with it by actually scrubbing it. Hector, here's the Chanel micro washer for you. Thank you, sir. And we've also filled up one of our wash buckets with some more tough mudder, foamed it up and activated the suds to act as lubrication and some more cleaning power. And at the bottom of the bucket, we have a dirt trap. And if you're new to the channel, what a dirt trap does is it filters out the abrasive particles that run the vehicle, keeping it off of the car, keeping it underneath that platform and also out of your wash water. So let's get started. Let's. Uh, <laughs> a little high five. All right, fine. Ready? Here you Alright guys, so me and Nick had to double team this truck. Uh, it was really, really bad, had a lot of contamination, dirt and grime and everything you don't want on your truck, on your truck. So we give it a, two foams, rinsed it off, and now we're gonna use our awesome waffle weave. And Nick, what are you using? This is a woolly mammoth towel, very plush, so it picks up a lot of water without scratch. Nice and plush, yep. like this guy. Anyways, if you guys liked this video, please like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys next time here at Detail Garage. High five. Ooh, ooh, that's awkward. <laughs>